Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and I have a brand new special gameplay for you. This is going to be attrition, guys, and it's a little tutorial on how to score your high point. Now, this gameplay is 204 points, guys. Yes, you heard me right, 204 points. You can see there's four on my team, so there's more to sort of limit the, uh, the limit the points that you can get. So as long as the people are good on my team, I won't be able to get that high point. However, it ends up two players left, so two of them end up doing very badly and they actually rage quit the game. Their team's left with one player at the moment, so it's not that special in my opinion. Um, but obviously I'm going to work on getting more special game players for you guys and we're just going to bring it in for you. Now, the record at the moment, I actually thought it was the world record and I just have to say, first of all, it's not. The record is actually 209 by Bromio, and uh, yeah, we're going to work on beating that as well, so it's just going to be one of those things. Um, what I won't do as a YouTuber is I won't claim to have a world record if it's not actually the world record, because a lot of people do do that. Um, I've seen a guy post the 204 gameplay as well, um, but what he did in that gameplay is he actually used his teammate in the game. Now what his teammates did is they did a little trick called imitating bad players, so in other words they didn't score the attrition points purposely, which in my opinion is a pretty sucky way of getting your uh, game players to be honest with you, because you're not actually getting it legit. Well. You are getting it legit, but you're using people to imitate the bad players, which isn't legit. And I think everybody would agree with me on that one. Um, so as you can see, I've already started off, I'm on the 15 points already. Now in this gameplay, the good thing about this one is I am literally just rushing around. <coughs> Now guys, in order to get your high kill streaks and to rack up your points, basically you've got to kill these grunts, but you've got to kill them consecutively. For example, you see the plus one grunt point. Now I've got my titan coming in. There you go, plus one and kill some of them down there. Plus two and get in the titan. And now we're going to start with the art cannon. Now obviously the art cannon with the capacitor does have a bit of a charge time so there's a lot more that I could have done to maximise the points a lot more than they actually had. So we could have got more points but it would mean just not playing as well as what I thought. But obviously this is currently my best gameplay on the attrition game mode. There we go, you can see me just take out the human player there. This was pretty close to the world record guys and I hope you pretty much enjoy the gameplay. I know it's not like a special gameplay for you but it's just one of those. It's a pretty ornage gameplay at the end of the day. Right, so I was playing solo and basically I was just messing around so I didn't actually realise my score at the end of this as well. Um, I, end, I looked on the scoreboard a little bit later on and then I thought, oh shit. Uh, if I didn't look on the scoreboard, I wouldn't have been wasting as much time and stuff like that. Um, if I just went into the gameplay, I could have probably maximised another 20 points maximum. So, I know it can be done. And that's what I'm going to work for in future videos for you guys. You go, you can see me take out that human player and the Titan, plus the missile. Boom, we're going to punch straight through him. And then we're going to get to work on these minions again, times 9 plus 16. We've lost the minions so we're back down to times 1. Completely missed that shot there. There we go, we got the Mayhem. 
Now unfortunately there wasn't very many pilots for me to kill in this one so it did make it a little bit harder to rack up those points. I basically had to focus on the minions because there's only one pilot there. If there was more pilots in the game then I would be able to kill a lot more in this gameplay which is just makes it even better because I got 204 points with only one pilot in the field. Now if you imagine if I had a lot more pilots that's a lot of points. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm actually using a little bit of a route, I know exactly where the minions are going to be spawning and I'm going to take these minions out as fast as I possibly can, try and get them in an order where you're killing them one by one, not just complete and utterly owning a pack at once. There we go, you can see the times four, trying to get up here as fast as I can, see if I can shoot them, there we go, times one. Ah, we got knocked back on that one, so times four there. To times eight. To times nine. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of spectra kills in this game. <clears throat> Yep, what I'm doing is I'm actually using the cluster missile just to pick up some of the packs as well and then I'm finishing it off with the art cannon which will spray across a lot of packs. We'll take out the titans as they come. Don't want my titan to go down by being attacked by another titan, that's going to waste a lot of my time. You can see I'm being attacked right now off the titan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to disembark and try and get a nuke kill there. Didn't work out. Let's have a look where he lands. Making sure I don't get killed by the spray on the massive payload there. <coughs> okay, well we had some spectres on the roof but they got taken out. Human pilot here, where is that? There he is. And we'll take him out so someone else has spawned in as well. Another pilot in this pack here, which is kind of awkward because I'm down to the pistol, and there we go, we'll take him out. So there's another pilot, so there's actually three pilots on their team now. Now unfortunately they do end up rage quitting so I wasn't able to rack up the points a lot more. You can see me check the scoreboard and I'm thinking, whoa, 134 points and we're only on 210. Holy shit man. Okay, so we got another Titan up. Titan gets taken down and the pilot gets up. Let's see if we can goose her in. There you go, we get the first goose kill there. And I think that's... Racking up the points. Do, 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 do. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did like this gameplay, guys. Obviously, it's just me rushing around, playing solo. Nobody's helping me with this. You can see that on the party leaderboard. And um, we got another Titan down here, so we got the edge on him, perfect, exactly what we want, perfect cluster hit. Yeah, it's straight through there, we're going to hunt him down, we don't want that shadow from him to get the kill though. And that gives us times 5, times 9. And um, we're back down to times 2. Completely failed that hit there. And there's not many grunts around me at the moment, so it's very hard to rock up those points. <coughs> Sir, I'm in the ship's command center. There's no one here now, but it looks like McCann stepped into the ship's archive. Well, Mac, I guess you're with them now. Blisk, return to base. We'll deal with McCallan later. 
and eventually I'm going to be able to find a pack so there we go, there's a lot of time that I've actually wasted at the minute solely because not many packs were actually spawning Times four. We can get this Titan down. He's got a plasma rail gun, exactly what I want. There we go. We get him down, but it wasn't in the nick of time that one. So if that kill was one second earlier, I would have had enough five points, which would equal the world record, which was 209 points. Unfortunately, it was that second too late and I was absolutely gutted. But don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe guys, I'll just leave you to the end of the gameplay now.